guess what just got here? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the hardcover, at least I hope so. <sighs> Collector's edition. You guys just saw me do this video about how KDP has hardcovers, so I'm not gonna like repeat anything, but it has arrived. It is time for a quality check. I am freaking out. <laughs> Should we do this? Where's my scissors? Let me see if I can get a good angle for you guys. Hold on one second. Okay, how is that? Is that good? Okay, don't mind my belly. It's gonna be in this shot, but here we go. And I'm whispering because Mosin is sleeping, but I'm too excited to wait. Let's try this. Okay, this is the back. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Holy crap, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, look how thick that is. That's crazy. In case you guys don't know, this is not the final cover. This is just a test cover. We've got some more testing to do. I haven't even opened it yet. Oh my gosh. But um, I just have to say, like, that's a hefty book right there. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. In case you missed the last video, I used some character art by my amazing patron, Margarita Lapina. So she designed, I'm going to open it up for the first time. And it's cool because like Caden's partly on the spine there, isn't he? But he's like he's like on the back too though. So that's Caden. And this is Ari. Oh, I really, really wish that KDP would not have this not for resale bar cup barcode bar bar strip bar. Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. And I do notice, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there is sort of like um it's almost like a little smoosh. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to see it. Well, maybe like right, no? I don't think so. I don't think you can see it on camera, but like there's this, there's these two spots that it sort of seems like the hardcover got scuffed when it was like still drying or something. I don't even know how they print books, so. <sighs> okay, let's open it. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, all right. I'm nervous because I really want this to work. So obviously the front page is, this is also going to change. If you missed my video, um, this is going to become whatever, the cover title is it's going to match on the inside of course but this is just a test um actually that printing is not bad here's the map so as far as i can tell that stretched really nicely because i have it with bleed okay all right <sighs> Here's chapter one. Let me show you up close. So it is tiny. It's too small, I think. And now this is this is not KDP's fault. This is because I made a collector's edition. So this is four books in one. In case you are new here, I have my whole Stolen Kingdom series. Let me show you. This is the Stolen Kingdom series paperbacks. So it's about, let's see here. I'm trying to remember. I think it's like, uh, this is gonna be wild guesstimates. I should really remember this, but pregnancy brain. Somewhere around 80, uh, maybe also around 80, 75. This one is about almost exactly 50. I know that. And then this one was the biggest one at like 90, was it 92, 93 or 95? I don't remember, but grand total, almost roughly around 300,000 words. <laughs> this is these four books and these are the hard covers in case you didn't know. So I have paperbacks on Amazon and all other retailers and then the hard covers and ebooks have these covers. This first book, The Stolen Kingdom, has um, a lot of really fun extra bonus material that I also added to this hard cover right here. That's all in the back. Oh my gosh, it looks so good though. It's just a little bit too small. Oh, it looks so good. But like right here, this is, without showing you too much, this is is Gideon. So I wrote a short story for um, a side character and this is like a newsletter incentive. So I believe I'll double check and make sure it's on my newsletter, but I think you can get it whenever you sign up for my newsletter. I'm pretty sure that's a freebie now. And that's only one, two, three. Let's see here. It's one, two, three, four, five, 
six pages. So it's pretty short. I think it's under 5,000 words. It's just like a short, short story. Then I have a frequently asked questions page and then I have character art. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we have the glossary, but I really want the glossary to be in the book too. But that's one, two, three, four pages. So that's 14 pages. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure it out because obviously you want your reading to be enjoyable. You don't want it to be quite this small. Again, let me show you. It's just slightly too small. I think an omnibus, cause that's what everybody is telling me this is technically called when you don't have separate books. Like if I took these four and then I put them in a box, that's a box set. But then when they're all within one book like this, supposedly that's called an omnibus. Ugh, it's like so perfect though. Like how thick is that? So what I'm gonna have to do, let's review like quality wise, and then I'll talk about what I'm going to do for the omnibus as I'm gonna call it, or the classic edition of this series. These front pages are really thick. They're like cardstock, honestly. The quality of the paper is really nice. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell really, but like you can see through that page just slightly. Can you tell? So this is an Ingram Spark book. It's not the worst. It's just not great either. So this you cannot see through at all. It's like super high quality pages. <sighs> but I'm gonna have to, yeah, reformat. I still have a lot that I can do. I just wanted to get it done fast because I wanted to see what it looked like in person. <laughs> but for those of you who give me advice, I actually have a whole formatting series here on uh, YouTube. It's a whole playlist and I'll link it below if you're curious to know more, but there's tons of fun things you can do. So I've already played with the margins, which is the sides. And you can see at the top, it's pretty close to the top there and pretty close to the bottom. I've done that. I've done obviously font size. <laughs> a little too small, but that was just to print it fast. And then I also made the line spacing. This is my favorite trick. It will save you, depending on you know what it was before, it could save you hundreds, not always hundreds, but I have had a book come down by 100 pages before, a bigger book. Mine is set to 1.4, I think it is, as the automatic, and I bring it down to 1.15, or in this case, I think I shrunk it even smaller. I think it was 1.1, maybe? And you honestly, it's fine, it's totally readable. It's such a minor change to do that, but when you do that for a whole 300 plus page book, or in this case, 500, how many pages do I have? 516, 17, 18. Does that sound right, or do they not count the front ones? I don't think they count, yeah. They didn't count these front ones, it starts. This is page one. I'm very detailed, I hope that's okay, but I'm really enjoying seeing this in person. Oh my gosh. It helps to see it in person because there's things that I can still do. I can see it now. I couldn't tell on my computer, but when I look at things like this, what do they call these? The scene breaks. Um, I can tell that, that there's a lot of spacing there that I could definitely shrink down. I can obviously bring the chapter headers up as well. I just, I wanted to see if I could go without that, but I can easily, I don't know, because that's only going to save this much of a page. And of course it depends on how the page ends. Like for example, if I bring this up, it's still, it's just gonna bring it up to like here. So it's not going to change my page count at all unless I was to bring the chapter onto that page. But I don't know if I wanna do that. That feels like a last resort to me personally. I've had some of you comment on that last video where I did KDP hardcovers and you said that you've seen authors do that for an omnibus. So I'll keep it in my back pocket, but I don't like that. I don't like that. It's actually not that small. I think it just needs to come up get a little bit bigger. Look at this, this is crazy. This right here is the extra bonus material. So do I sacrifice that so that the rest of it is good? I might have to. And it looks like it did come with a little bit of tiny bit of damage there, but it's not a big deal. I think honestly, if this didn't have the bar across the cover and if it was the real cover and the right formatting inside. That's it. Those are my only complaints and it would be beautiful. It's got some sticky stuff on the back here too. I wonder what that's from, if that's from printing or from shipping. And of course, as you can see, there is a barcode on the back cover. No, I guess, never mind. The dust jacket has it too. It's there as well. So that's, that's not different. 
Oh man, this just looks so good. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. But yeah, to wrap up, what I was trying to say is what I think I will do is I will now dig into the formatting as Mandy is finishing the first draft of the cover and she is planning to finish this week. So I'm going to have a first draft and move forward pretty quickly with that. And then I think I'll have to make a decision about that bonus material after I do some formatting and we'll see what happens. Man, that just looks so good though. Ah, it looks so good. And this, by the way, in case you're wondering, is a six by nine. So I did not try the seven by 10, but I'll shout out to one of my viewers who said that a seven by 10, you could think of that as like those composition notebooks. If you've seen those before, I tried to picture myself with a composition notebook and I was like, that's, that's really big. I just don't like that for an omnibus, omnibus. I don't know how to say that word, but this six by nine, perfect. I love it. In comparison, this is five by eight, six by nine. There you go, that's your comparison right there. Kind of like that. And actually a lot of hardcovers come in six by nine, so this size in the front words is not unusual, it's just the thickness. And I really wish, I will say again, just my review personally, I really do wish KDP would allow it to be even thicker because then I could keep my bonus material for sure. And I've also heard people complain they wish that KDP would allow it to be smaller because it is only 75 page, it, the page count is between 75 and 550, I think it is. I'll put it on the screen. That rules out a lot of kids books as well because you can make some really cool kids books. And again, of course, like I said in the other video, you only have five sizes right now. Anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think of this. And if you're excited, again, I will be telling my patrons and my newsletter first for this, that those will be the first people to know when this comes out because KDP does not have pre-orders. I can't put this on pre-order, but I can release it on a planned date with a plan and let my newsletter know. So make sure that you're watching and I will try to let you guys know, of course, as well. But if you don't want to miss out on the collector's edition, which is going to have like a classic old book cover for all four books in the series. And if you don't want to miss out on that, my hope is still, if it works out, before Christmas. Stay tuned for that and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!